Hello friends, this video on surface chemistry part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we'll talk about the catalysis types, right? So we have something called homogeneous catalyst and we have heterogeneous catalyst. So in homogeneous catalyst, the reactant and catalyst are in the same phase. For example, we'll talk about this nickel if you see. Sorry, this is a good example. I still is a catalyst and the sugar is a, uh, my reactant. They're in the same phase. They are both liquid. Right? They are liquid. They are liquid. Both are in the same phase. Here, my if you see, hydrogenation, this nickel is in solid and oil is in liquid. So they are in different phase. Correct? So let's talk about homogeneous catalyst in detail. Right? So homogeneous catalyst is See again, uh, the reaction, the reactant and the catalyst they are in the same phase. This is a liquid, sugar is a liquid. Both are liquid, same phase with they are either both solid or both liquid or both gas. So this process is homogeneous catalysis in which reactant and catalyst are in the same phase. Correct. I can give you some example. The first example can be oxidation of sulfur dioxide. Oxidation of sulfur dioxide to sulfur trioxide. So for this, what we do, we use nitric oxide, NO. NO is my catalyst. Now if you see, my sulfur dioxide is gas. My nitric oxide is gas. If you see, both are gas. Even the product is gas. So this is an example of homogeneous catalysis. The other example I can give is hydrolysis of methyl acetate in the presence of HCl. So I have methyl acetate. This is liquid. I'll do hydrolysis in the presence of HCl. And I get this compound. If you see, my HCl is liquid, my water is liquid, my CH3COH is liquid. Everything is liquid. So it is an example of homogeneous catalysis. The other reaction can be this one. Hydrolysis of sugar in the presence of sulfuric acid or HCl also. This is my sugar. C12H22O11. The sugar You add some water and add some sulfuric acid or hydrochloric acid, anything you can add actually. This is a catalyst name because we need the only H plus ions. So you get C6H12O6, my glucose, and again C6H12O6, that is my fructose. Now, if you see this water and liquid. This sugar syrup is liquid and this catalyst is liquid. Everything is liquid. So it is an example of homogeneous catalysis. Here also if you see this is a sugar. We have with water, we are adding this catalysis. Uh, we are adding this catalyst, liquid catalyst, and we are passing this current. And with this, you get this glucose and fructose. So in case of heterogeneous catalysis, the reactant and the catalyst are in different phase. As I told. The reactant and catalyst in different phase. Example, if you see, this is a nickel catalyst in solid, and this is oil. I think the hydrogenation. So this is a liquid. Right? This is a vegetable oil actually. So we are doing hydrogenation of vegetable oil to give vegetable ghee. Correct. So we'll see various examples for this heterogeneous catalysis. First is again oxidation of sulfur to sulfur trioxide. But here what we'll be doing is we'll do oxidize it. But here we'll be using platinum catalyst. Now we see sulfur oxide is a gas. Sulfur trioxide is a gas. Platinum is a solid. 
So we see this is solid, this is gas, right? They are not same. They are not in the same phase. So this is an example of heterogeneous catalysis. The exa other example is nitrogen. You add this hydrogen in the presence of iron, you give ammonia. So nitrogen is a gas, hydrogen is a gas, ammonia is a gas, but iron is solid. So if you see, they are in different phase. Third example can be again oxidation of uh, oxidation of NH3 to form nitric oxide. It will form nitric oxide and the presence of oxygen and the catalyst uses platinum. Write the balance equation. Yeah. Now if you see in this case, this ammonia is gas, oxygen is gas, platinum is solid. Correct. So if you see, they are in different phase. Correct. The next example is this the same one which we have seen on the screen. This is my vegetable oil, which is a liquid using a nickel catalyst or platinum catalyst and hydrogen again is a gas. So here hydrogen is gas, my vegetable oil is liquid and I'm getting vegetable ghee which is liquid but the catalyst is solid. So this is also an example of heterogeneous catalysis. Now I'll compare this homogeneous and heterogeneous catalysis. In homogeneous catalysis, the reactant, product and the catalysis all are in the same physical state. In heterogeneous catalysis, the reactant, product and catalyst are all in different stage or different state. Right? So in this case, if you talk internally, the reactant molecules collide with reactant and forms intermediate compound and then it is converted to product. In case of homogeneous catalysis, there is an intermediate compound formation, little uh, tricky part here. In heterogeneous uh, catalyst, since they are in different phase, what generally happens is the reactant molecules are adsorbed on the surface of the solid catalyst. So generally the intermediate compound is not formed, but it's not a general rule, right? generally I'm talking about. So since it is a homogeneous catalyst and we are talking about the intermediate formation, there is no adsorption here, so it does not depend on size of catalyst. When we talk about the heterogeneous catalyst, since the adsorption is playing a critical role here, right, it does depend on the surface area of the catalyst. And obviously on the particle size of the reactant also. Right? This is the example of homogeneous catalyst, this is liquid, sugar is liquid. This is example of heterogeneous catalyst, this is solid, nickel solid and oil is liquid, this is hydrogenation and this is inversion of sugar. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get pre-study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.